Hey guys, it's Brick Thunder, and today we're going to be unboxing, setting up, and doing a demo of Lowe's 2024 Bumble. Okay, here he is. First of all, I want to give a huge thank you to Lowe's for giving me this guy. This thing, ever since we saw the first photos, was definitely one of the items I've been most excited about. Even though it's Christmas, uh, I think he can totally be used for both holidays uh, with just a bit of customization. And the size and overall look of this thing is amazing. Now, I've not seen this in person, and I haven't even seen any videos of it other than the official demo. Um, so I'm really excited to see the size of everything in person uh, and just how all the details look. Because on photos and in the videos we've seen, which are the official ones, like I said, it looks awesome. So uh, let's get straight into the unboxing. Here we go. All right, I'm cutting open the tape here, but I've not looked inside yet. Let's see. All right, opening it up. First of all, we have lots of metal framing. We also have the first cardboard blocker. This thing includes tethers, which is awesome. A ton of zip ties. We got instructions in here, so let's take this out and check these out. Here it is. This is like an entire booklet, and there's actually another one. This is the employee's uh, one there, though. Um, but yeah, this is the official setup booklet here, and it's literally an entire book worth. It's awesome. There's, let's see, how many pages of, 18 pages of instructions, which is a lot more than most. Um, but yeah, it looks like a pretty crazy build, so this may take a bit. There also looks to be a ton of parts. And then there's also an update. This must have come uh, further in the process. As you can see, there's an update to one of the steps there. So we will follow this instead. This is for step six. Here is just an insane amount of framing, and it's all white, which is awesome because a lot of times with the darker frames under Halloween props, you see it through the clothing or the fur. So white, because he has white fur, is a great idea. All right, it looks like we have the first hand here, which is holding the star. This is huge. Here it is. Here is our first hand. This thing is giant. That star is crazy, and the hand looks awesome. That is really cool. We have some uh, padding material. This is kind of similar to what Nine Foot Zombie had. So I'm thinking that's probably just for form. We have another piece in here, which looks to be maybe the other hand. No, these must be the feet. These are definitely the feet, as you can see. Uh, there's the bottom of the foot there. There is the top. Looks pretty cool. And these are connected to the whole like pants area. So all the fur there is one piece and both feet. We have some more framing pieces, more framing, even more. We have a hand in here along with more framing. Let's take this hand out. This one is the outstretched hand and it's giant. This is definitely one of the larger hands we've seen in retail. It looks awesome, I love that. Here are the giant Christmas lights uh, that span across him. And these look pretty great, there they are. We have one of the arms right here with padding around it, looks good. We have another arm, more framing. Round stakes, which we will not be needing today. This must be his mouth mechanism, which is Kind of insane, we'll see how the head works, but it's a huge mech for just a mouth. Next up we have the headpiece. Let's take this out. We have a plastic form as well. <laughs> and here is the head. We'll rip open the bubble wrap here. Let me lift this up so you can see how giant that thing is. It is huge and it looks really, really good. We have some poles including the control box. And then finally, all zip tied together um, is the base and the leg poles right here. So that's all of our parts out of the box. Let's get to the setup. Here we go. All right, let's begin the setup. So uh, we have A and B right here. The, uh, the disassembly from the box, like just taking everything out and disassembling all the zip ties and twist ties is a ton. Uh, that took about 20 minutes probably just taking off all those ties. So there are definitely more parts than uh, I'm used to. And the amount of metal framing is crazy. So this thing will definitely be uh, pretty realistic with the proportions, which is good. We then can slide over the feet right here. So the main pole goes through that main hole on the foot. And then there's this little indent right here that goes around this spot so that the foot can sit in place. Same thing over here. Find that main hole right here for the pole and then the indent for the front of the foot. Next we have C and D right here, uh, and this means that his uh, kind of waistline is really, really small right here, which I guess would make sense looking at the photos on the box, but is definitely very close to the feet. We then have F with the control box here in the middle. We have G over here on my right side, your left side, and then we have E on this side. 
We then have our longer poles. We have J over here on this side. Here's I in the middle and H on the left side. So this is where we have that updated step. There used to be a snap lock here uh, in L, which is the middle pull, um, but they took that out just so it's a bit easier. So now we're just gonna snap lock both the left and right side down like that. We then have our first form piece. This one's labeled A1. Uh, the first slide down is down here at the bottom and it'll slide down like that. And then we have these movable pieces back here. These are also for the support. These attach to the middle pole right here and down here at the bottom. We can do the same thing over here, but in reverse, we have B1 over here. Start with the bottom and then put B1 down. And then we can do the same thing here with the movable supports. We then have his shoulder frame all the way up here. There's a ton of prongs for this to go in, so just make sure it goes in all eight. The next step here is kind of out of order. What we're doing is down on the ground now, we have to attach the mechanism to the head here. So we have Q in front here and then P in back. We then have a cotter pin to hold on the mouth. The spring from the mechanism can attach down here to this hook. And now we're going to attach this headpiece to the shoulder piece. Okay, so now I have him laid down and we're going to continue with framing here. So we have N1 over here and N2 up here. And then N3 goes inside of the head. We can also connect R to R, which are wires. We can then do the same uh, but opposite head assembly back here. We have O1 down there, O2 up at the top, and O3 again connected down to the head. We then have the upper head support, which is Q1 down here, Q2 up here, Q3 down by the head right down here, and then Q4 about in the middle of the head. Now they also have reusable zip ties, which is really cool, that go in all these places just to keep these down, which I would definitely do um, if I was keeping this up for a while, and they are reusable, which is awesome. Um, but uh, because this is coming down after this, I won't be using them now, but it may make the clothing a bit tricky to put on. So I would definitely recommend doing that. We're then gonna do the opposite over here. We have P1 down here, P2 up here, P3 on the bottom near the forehead, and then P4 in the middle of the head. We then have the blister piece right here. Make sure the flat side comes on the front uh, near the head here. And then this should just Velcro on right here. There's also Velcros on the sides and the tops and the same over here. All right, and now the next step is taking all this cloth and putting it over the frame. And now we can stand him back up. All right, he stood up again. And now we have a bit more framing before we can finish him. Um, so we have C1 over there on that side, and then some more movable supports right here that connect to the middle pole again. Then we have D1 on this side, and this is actually a place where they recommend using those zip ties. We have E1 in here, and F1 on this side. We have G on this side, and H1 over here. We have I up here, and our final one, J. Now one thing I forgot here, I'm going to put this in order so that nobody else messes this up, uh, is I forgot to put this chest padding on. So this literally just Velcros on the underside of this um, along the metal frame just to hide that metal frame a bit more. Already, it really doesn't look bad, but like this would be less visible in this line um, if this was there. We then can bring his clothing up and Velcro it to the top. Next up, we have his arms here, so we're gonna slide this in. And then we have his shoulder frame, this side is L. We then can attach his star piece. This snap locks in. And then we can do the same thing with the other arm on this side. We then have his other shoulder frame and his other hand down here. All right, so now I'm going to wire him up and get all this clothing perfect. Uh, but then it is time for the demo. So here we go. Now I somehow forgot one huge detail here. He actually has all these bulbs that we have to hang still. So it goes from this arm right here and it connects to the R1 wire and goes up to this one. First, what it looks like we have to do is Velcro the hand there. And then in the photo, what it looks like is they actually wrap around once. And then they kind of just drape over like this. Uh, you kind of find a good spot and it's not important really where they go. As long as you think it looks cool and that looks fine to me, uh, then it's good. So now that we have all the steps complete, let's go to the demo. Here we go.
All right, so there he was, Bumble from Lowe's 2024. This guy is really, really cool. Overall, he looks perfect. His detail is amazing. Uh, I love all the lights and stuff. I also love that the lights stay on. Great when props do that instead of having to turn off and then come back on every time it restarts his animation. Um, the size overall is amazing. It's huge, definitely some of the largest proportions we've seen. I think the animation is really cool. The mouth movement is definitely effective. Seeing how huge that mouth is, uh, it actually kind of makes the entire thing sway, which is pretty incredible because that shows you just how giant that animation actually is, even though it's one little part of him. Um, but I think that's really cool. The way the star lights up is super unique. I've not seen that before. Um, it's kind of like a strobe randomly around, which is awesome. It looks great, especially in the dark, uh, and it's definitely very effective. And then the string lights, of course, lighting up too is a great addition. The one thing I will say is the setup is definitely not easy. I would say this is one of the most difficult I've ever had to do, uh, mainly just because of all the form. So if you are planning on building him, uh, plan on building it and keeping it up for a long time. Uh, if you can keep him up for the season, then it'll be worth it. But having to take it down and put it back up constantly definitely would be a struggle. Um, he definitely took a while, and I could tell right away with the 18 pages of instructions that it's definitely a larger build than usual. I do think the price for this is pretty fair, especially because the quality of it looks like something you'd see at a professional trade show. Um, and the amount it must be to ship something like this to all the stores must be pretty crazy. Uh, and that was the same for some of those other props Lowe's has done, some of the huge ones. Nine Foot Zombie would be another one. Uh, but this guy cannot be cheap for that. So I'm sure that plays into it. And then the quality you're getting, it is a techie prop. so. Uh, they did great with the quality. His structure is awesome. Obviously, lots of form, which is really cool. And he's like the size of an inflatable, but he is a prop, which makes it pretty awesome. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I think this guy could very easily be used for a Halloween event during Christmas time, which is what I plan on doing with him. Uh, I might bloody up some of the clothing and do some changes to him, but I think he can be pretty awesome uh, at night. And even his animation is kind of a bit of a jump scare. The way it just comes out of nowhere, super loud, and the mouth starts moving. I don't think it's meant to be because it is a Christmas prop, but it could definitely scare some people, uh, especially being this huge. So I think it'll go good for that. So yeah, there he was, Bumble from Lowe's 2024. Again, huge thank you to Lowe's for giving me this guy, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.